we've been forced to question what these giant vegetable and fruit farms have been doing to our environment. Why are we eating chemicals and pastures every day? To know what we can do to adapt as best we can as a species, that's super important. So I'm harvesting onions. We cut on the stems just about where the leaves end. And um, then we'll pull off some of this just like dead stuff, you know, easy to get stuff. With our school farm, it's our first year of running our farm. We are using practices with a regenerative vision in mind. And for the last couple of weeks, students have been investigating different types of agricultural techniques. Students have been then taking their independent research and presenting on those. So our students are tasked with thinking about some things that would work well on our farm and what are some different practices that we could start thinking about and incorporating as we grow. The farm has grown a lot. We're bringing in 50, 60 pounds of vegetable harvest every two, three days. We basically learned about the environmental impacts of farming and how we can change that. It all revolves around how you farm and how it can affect other people. I think it's really important to know what making food and nourishing the planet really involves and the benefits it can have. I really think that it's going to be a big part of the future of farming, or just the world in general. So we're depending on this new generation to like be passionate, and this new generation of kids who have these great ideas about farming. It's just so cool from that age you're learning about it and you're understanding it, and like, oh, I wish I had it. <laughs> We're donating half of the produce to Kortha Food Share and Nourish, which are both charities that are getting food to people who need it. I think we should all be growing. I think every school should have gardens in the yard. Nothing negative comes out of learning about food and participating in food production. We all need to eat really good food to be well. I think everyone, everyone should be doing it. So whether students have never stepped foot on a farm or whether they've grown up around farms, the way that the projects are designed is that there's an individual learning path that they can take. So they're meeting the project where they're at and they can then explore their passions. It takes the power into the hands of the student to explore their growth and their understanding and run with it. Agriculture is going to look so different in 50 years and in my lifetime I'm going to see that change happen and so to know what we can do to slow that down or adapt as best we can as a species and a civilization I think that's super important. At Lakefield College School our vision is to inspire teenagers to become leaders who care for, connect with and contribute to their communities and the planet. If we can do that we know we are doing a good job. understanding of where food comes from and making choices that reflect the knowledge that they've now gained by learning about different agricultural systems can help them drive sustainable solutions forward in our food system. Plant the food, take care of it, then cook it and learn all along the way and then donate it to give back to the community. I think that's a really awesome loop. 